This is Mr. G, and I'm coming to you from the Royal Mint. Do you want to guess why I'm wearing green? Maybe when you hear the word mint, you think of the flavor of toothpaste or ice cream. That flavor is usually green because it comes from the leaves of a plant called mint. But green is also the color of money. Well, in the United States, the color of paper money or dollars. And it mints a building where money is made. But the Royal Mint is not in the United States. It's in another country called the United Kingdom. And their money is not called dollars, it's called pounds. It's printed in many different colors. But a mint is not where the paper money is printed. It's where coins are made. When I was a boy, I really enjoyed collecting coins. Coins! Did someone say coins? I love coins. No, I think they're, they're, for, they're not for you. They're for the United Kingdom. I think you can buy some if you want. I don't want to buy coins. coins. I just want to have coins. As you can see, this place is heavily guarded. So don't even think about it. The process of minting coins involves melting down metal, letting it cool into sheets, rolling those sheets flat and thin, then punching out the coins and stamping patterns onto them. This is a mint making Canadian coins for the country of Canada. Their money is called dollars, like the United States, but it looks more like the money from the United Kingdom. All right, it's time for the high frequency words, words that you should know as soon as you see them because they're used a lot. Above, that means over something. Build, fall, new. Now this doesn't mean like a brand new object. This means I, it's the past tense of no. I knew something was correct. Money, toward, that means to go closer to something. And these two vocabulary words are words that you'll need to know how to read and write as well as the meaning. Balance. If you're able to balance, then you don't fall over. We need buildings to be able to balance. Balance is also used with money because they can talk about how much money you have in a bank account and that is called your balance. Section, that is a part of something. Let's practice some words with the oi sound. When you see the letters appear on the screen, make the sounds that the letters make, and then we'll blend them together to make the words. Ready? J. Oi. When you have an O-Y, it's usually at the end of the word to make the oi sound. Joy. That means happiness. J. Oi. With an O-I this time. Mm. Join, join. You'll notice the O-I doesn't go at the end of words. It goes in the middle or the beginning of words to make the oi sound. To join means to come together or bring together. Ch. Oi. K. Oh, there's an E that makes the C say the S sound, the soft C sound. Ch. Oi. S. Choice. A choice is a decision you make. Time for some money funnies. Knock, knock. Who's there? Cash. Cash who? I always knew you were a nut. <laughs> Here's another one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Nicholas. Nicholas who? Nicholas half as much as a dime. Because a nickel is five and a dime is 10 and five is half. And, all right, you get it? When we do our spelling words, uh, we'll want to see if you can sound out and spell the word before you see the correct spelling of it. And this week, the sound that we're learning is oi, as in the word coin. Now, that oi sound can be made with an o, i, which is how we make the sound if it's at the beginning or in the middle of a word, or o, y, which is usually the spelling at the end of a word. So when you hear that oi sound, always remember two letters that start with o, o i, like oink, the sound a pig could make, or o y, such as boy. Let's see how many you can get correct. Remember, you can write these down on a whiteboard or a piece of paper, and for each one you get correct, we'll add up quarters today. So you'll get one quarter, that means a quarter dollar, Let's see how well you can do with adding up those quarters at the end. Remember, pause the video after you hear each word until you're ready to hear the next word. First word is spoil.
coin, join, joy, toy, boy, town, mouse, build, fall. As you can see, these words, most of them have the oi sound in them. And when it comes in the middle of the word, it's an oi. But when you see it at the end of the word, it's an oy. Now, to add up the money, you're going to get a quarter, that means 25 cents or a quarter of a dollar for each one. So one quarter is 25 cents. We'll have to learn how to practice counting by 25. So 25, 50, 75, 100, which makes $1 because 100 cents is one whole dollar. So once you get to 100, you say a dollar. 25, 50, 75, a dollar. Now once you have a dollar, you can start over your counting for the cents again. We have a dollar, we're going back to zero cents. So we would say a dollar 25, a dollar 50, and you keep continuing until you get to two dollars, and then you start over again by saying two dollars at the beginning. And that's how you count by quarters. Well, it has been a joy teaching you, but our time is up. If you want some more fun practice learning about and counting money, you can watch and sing along to some songs about US currency. That means money. <laughs>